Okay, so this is how you're gonna do an easy case. First, you got your problem, x squared minus 8x plus 12. The first thing I like to do is label it. So it'd be x squared would be a, my negative 8 would be b, plus 12 would be c. And so as you see, I have it right here. And then you do your little diamond method. So you will put the c on top, and so that will be 12, the b on the bottom, so it will be negative 8, and you will try to find out what can multiply 12 but equal 8. And so that's how I got negative 2 and negative 6. It will give you positive 12 and negative 8. And so for your easy case, it will be x minus 2 and x minus 6. For the difference of two perfect squares, this is the first thing you have to do. The problem is 25x squared minus 64y squared. So what you have to do is factor each one. So what can go into 25 would be 5x. What can go into 64 would be y. So you would do 5x minus xy and then 5x minus xy. So that you combine them, 5x and 5x would be 25x squared y. 8y plus multiplied 8y will equal 64y squared. And so, for the greatest common factor, you would just factor out which one they both have in common. So it would be 2. So, so it will be, I think I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. So, for this one, it would be 2 times... 2x squared would equal 4x, and then 2, 2 times 11, which will equal 22.